Y bueno, ahora vamos a pasar a un tema bastante diferente. Y como les decía en la introducción, un amigo y vecino mío se acaba de comprar un nuevo Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Y bueno, ya van a escuchar sus impresiones. Me pareció un testimonio bastante sincero porque no fue solicitado, no fue pedido por nadie. Simplemente él se ofreció a, a dar su testimonio sobre este nuevo vehículo y es un testimonio más también de lo que el grupo Chrysler y en este caso particular la marca Jeep está logrando con sus clientes. So now we're going to switch back to English to talk about the new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Now I'm here with my uh, neighbor and friend, uh, Juan. Uh, I was driving by, driving by, walking by his house the other day. And then I hear out, uh, shouts to me like, I really love my new car. So what is it, Juan? My car is a brand new uh, 2014 uh, Jeep uh, Cherokee Laredo. And I leased it and I've got the basic model. But for being a basic model to me, it has a lot of features you normally wouldn't get. And, um, and the car rides very, very nice. Uh, it's rear wheel drive. Which I kind of I like. I had a, so you don't you didn't get the the four wheel drive, which no. is like typical from Jeep. Yeah, I got the uh, just the two wheel rear wheel drive, and um, you know and what I like about the car, the interior is very friendly to use. I love the touch screen, the Bluetooth, and it's all part of the uh, basic package. Yeah, even though there's a lot of uh, technology now in these cars, huh? Like, but the big screen and all that. Yep, this the um, you know the screen itself is very friendly to use. I also like when you sit in it, you could actually view yourself you, over the front. Some of the uh, bigger SV, SUVs now are so wide and so large, it's hard to see on the, in front of you. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it, it seems like the manufacturers are going in a reverse trend in, ter in those terms, right? Like it used to be like the big exploders and the yep. big things, like you could like almost a truck, really a truck. Yeah, it felt like the last one, the uh, Explorer felt like a bigger, much bigger truck, almost like the F-150 where this car feels more like a car and I'm actually fit into parking spots a lot easier, which is being in a city like Miami, it's real easy to, to drive and to maneuver. Yeah, and you also, I mean, you got it because you love boats more than cars, right? Yep, I love <laughs> boats more than cars. And uh, one of the reasons I got it is it's able to pull my uh, my, my contender, my little sea craft. Yeah. So, and I already towed the, my little sea craft with it and you don't hardly feel it. The rear wheel drive brings it in and out of the ramp with no problem. So how much, how, how, Heavy is your boat. I mean, you have more than one boat. I, I think, have two right? boats. The bigger one is about 5,000 pounds, and this is um, it's capable of carrying that with no problem at all. Yeah, and uh, do you know uh, what's the the towing capacity capacity of the Jeep? Honestly, they mentioned it to me, and I did not. It's like care. 75, I think, I something think like that, so. right? I wasn't a hundred percent, but I knew it would be enough to to take my boat to the ramp and back, which is really what I use it for, and also tow it. And you know, I, I use the bigger boat about half the time. I use my little one, so. I, was, you know, I just wanted a car that good for the city and also capable of towing my boat. So you already have a lot of experience towing boats and all that. Why it's only the rear-wheel drive car more than, more than enough than the all-wheel drive car? Because in our, I mean, here we're very lucky. We don't have a lot of hills and we don't really have the ramps. Snow. That, yeah, <laughs> snow. So, you know, for us in South Florida, I think it works well. And the ramps are fairly good shape, so you don't really need, they're not as steep as maybe some areas. Uh, so they're built, you know, for enough to be able to use the rear-wheel drive and pull it out. Yeah. And uh, what else? So you have the V6 engine in, uh, the, in, the, the, V6, in the Jeep? The V6, the standard V6. I think it's 3.5 liter Um, you know, it's it's it runs very well and it takes off. It's got a lot of power, and and I like it. It's a, it's a nice car. So, uh, what about uh, mileage uh, for <coughs> for gas? I mean, how much how much I, are you getting? I think I'm averaging about 17 in the city, which is pretty good. Yeah. And um, you know, I like that. Um, and it's it's very friendly to use. That's what I like about it. So now, in your driveway, you have three cars, and you have the newer one. Are you in trouble with the, your wife? Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> trouble, a little trouble with the kids. <laughs> they always want to borrow the nice car, so. But they can use it as long as they don't use it as a bumper car like they did the last one. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you were telling me before uh, you bought this car, your daughter has this uh, used uh, C-Class Mercedes-Benz, which is beautiful, but she doesn't, uh, she's not very she, happy no, with it, huh? No, no. It's, you know, it's an older luxury car for her, and she doesn't feel as, as nice as being in the in the new Jeep. She likes the Jeep much yeah. better. How much uh, pressure is that? That's, that's a, a tough situation, It's a huh? tough Because situation. Because kids, like, think that everything is free, and, like, it doesn't exactly. cost money, and, like, it's just there, and you get it, and all exactly. that. Exactly. And, um, you know, they for them, it's, it's going to be the keys and fill it up with gas, and there they go. Yeah. It's, uh, but, uh, I mean, like, uh, it's a safe car to drive, the, the C-Class. Oh, Actually, I was uh, doing, doing a story about safety with the kids and all that. 
And they recommend that kind of car spe specifically for them. That car has a tremendous amount of features in it for the, uh, you know, for the value. And I love driving it. See, you know, so that's why I have no problem training cars. I'll drive whatever car I have available for me. How is that? that that's that's kind of weird. I mean, we live in Miami, and I, I can get why you love more boats, boats more than cars. But uh, you never like cars, really. I just, you know, it's one of those things that, unfortunately, <clears throat> especially in the city. You know, people don't, they don't, they don't respect your vehicles and you get a really nice luxury car and the next thing you know, it's a beat up and you're <laughs> disappointed. And so, yeah, I mean, I like being in them, but I, I just, I like the outdoors a lot better. Yeah. The, the boat, the boating activity here in Miami, is, we're like blessed. I mean, we're here in Miami we're and then we're like at the end of our quote unquote winter. <laughs> exactly. We're blessed. It's gorgeous. gorgeous. Well, Uh, thank you very much for your time, Juan, and uh, I hope you keep enjoying your Jeep. Uh, and maybe one day when I have a bigger one, I'll let you try it and uh, see you what it. you upgrade. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. So thank you again uh, to Juan Comendero here uh, on his uh, testimony about the new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo, uh, which uh, again, it was completely unsolicited. It was very spontaneous kind of thing. So very, very fun to have him uh, here on the show. Y bueno, no se vayan que cuando regresemos vamos a hablar de toda la información del nuevo Chrysler 200 2015, el modelo que fuimos a probar esta semana a las calles y carreteras de Louisville, Kentucky, un lugar realmente espectacular. Francamente se los recomiendo cuando tengan la oportunidad de visitar muchas actividades por allá, el Kentucky Derby, la fábrica oficial de bates de las grandes ligas de béisbol, así que muchas actividades por allá. Así que no se vayan, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota y ya regresamos. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.